watch the show. Stuck inside my house. I can't get out, so I might as well watch social distancing. Oh, say can you see? Hey, everyone. Happy Fourth of July! I'm your host, Natalie Lander, and welcome to this week's episode of Social Distancing. Our weekly show is one that features quarantine-inspired songs, musical performances, comedy skits, hilarious parodies, self-isolation-themed magic, and other forms of creative expression that are submitted from you to us. And don't forget us puppets! Oh yes, we've got pandemic puppetry. How can we forget that? Oh, and that's Cecil. You'll meet him later on the show. Now get comfortable, sit back, relax, get ready to laugh, and maybe sing. I'm gonna retire these ears for the rest of the episode. Bye. So after being in quarantine for the past 100 days, this family has figured out a way to turn self-isolation into a musical bonding experience. On March 21st, Jason and Elisa Hockman, owners of the New York Guitar Academy, along with their two boys, Noah and Joseph, started an Instagram page with the goal of creating videos and sharing stories documenting their time in quarantine. It not only gave them an indoor activity to do together, but it was a great opportunity to play music together as a family. Although there are no lyrics about toilet paper or Lysol wipes, we love that this video was entirely made and inspired during quarantine. Here is the Quarantine Quartet on their Spanish guitars with an original song called Las Olas. Hello, social distancing. My name is Joseph. My name is Noah. My name is Elisa. And I'm Jason. We are the Quarantine Quartet. And we have been practicing guitar together for over a hundred days while yeah. quarantining in our home in Brooklyn, New York. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the song that we're going to play for you is called Las Olas. And mm -hmm. we wrote it in the quarantine quartet. Yeah, we yes. hope you enjoy it. In quarantine, in right? Quarantine. Quarantine. Mm -hmm. yeah. You guys have inspired me. Do you think maybe you could have a fifth member in your 
quartet. I may need to take a few lessons. Keep it up, guys, and here's to another 100 days. No, 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 no. Not 100 days. Uh, here's the, just keep it up. I promise we'll keep watching and listening. If you grew up in the late 80s, early 90s, watching shows like Head of the Class or Keenan and Kel, you might recognize the person from our next submission. I mean, I wouldn't. I was born in the year 2000. Mm -hmm, I'm 20. So this video is from Dan Frischman, who's not only an accomplished actor and director, but also an accomplished magician. What can't this guy do? So here he is with his own twist on quarantine magic. Take it away, Dan. Hello, social distancing. I am Dan Frischman, the great Who Danny, and all I have to do to rid the country and the world of the pandemic is to wave my wand three times. Here we go. One, two, uh, ah, almost had it. Oh, well, the best I can do then is, uh, you know, stay home, stay safe like all of us. And I buy some Lysol and toilet paper. Here's how I do that. Okay, so I went to the supermarket to find toilet paper. Well, there was none on the shelves. They said there was none in back. So I went home and ordered some online. But it was from a Japanese company and uh, it took a whole month to get here. When it finally arrived, I opened the box and there was just this cruddy empty bag. So there were instructions with it. They said to mutter any incantation and watch what happens. Okay, so I thought up uh, Hugga bugga. Hugga bugga. That was it. I said, Hugga bugga. I reached inside the bag and sure enough, something started to form. It was a Japanese flower box. Well, it was lovely, but uh, it wasn't going to help me in a pinch, if you know what I'm saying. So I had to try it again. I said, Hugga bugga. Reach inside the bag and it was soft, it was round, it was another Japanese flower box. Well, okay, they always say three's the charm, right? So, hug a bugger and reach into the bag. Okay, this time I knew what I would find. It was another Japanese flower box. People, I needed help. This was all I had to go on. So I thought, okay, one more time. Please, hug a bugger. And <laughs> this time I was good. As inside the bag was a Japanese samurai sword. Now I can walk into any supermarket and say, hey pal, where are you hiding the toilet paper? Dan. While we do not condone weapons here on social distancing, I could really use a samurai sword the next time I go to Costco. Get away from my potato salad. Have you had their potato salad? It's delicious. But Dan, that was awesome. So funny. Where did all those flower boxes come from? Side note, I actually think those little flowers would work in a pinch if you really, really needed it. Since she debuted on our show a little over a month ago, we have had so many requests for more material from little seven and a half year old Juliet Brooks. Her pandemic puns and COVID comedy have stolen our hearts and made us laugh and she's back with more. Yes. So let's head on over to my favorite corner, Juliet's Comedy Corner. Hey, social distancing. I'm Juliet. I hope you wanted some more quarantine comedy. Well, I've got some for you. Can you believe this virus is still going on? <laughs> My mom's going a little crazy during the quarantine. She's disinfecting everything. The other day, I caught her wiping down Lysol wipes with Lysol wipes. I mean, we are really disinfected. <laughs> 
me tell you, my older sister is positive that the coronavirus is her fault. So she said she got an email a few months ago and that she was supposed to forward it to 10 people, but she didn't. So everybody, you can blame the coronavirus on her. You know, parents, they've always got advice for something. So my mom says the best way of avoiding touching your face in the coronavirus is with a glass of wine in each hand. <laughs> <laughs> I think Netflix should remove that message that pops up. You know, the one that says, are you still watching? I mean, that's all we're doing, just watching Netflix. Am I right? I know you know I'm right. Any dads out there? My dad, he thinks he's a superhero during quarantine. He says we're saving the human race by staying inside. But all he's doing is not going to work. He's lying in front of the TV all day and doing nothing. You know what I mean? Like, everyone's doing that. Hey, maybe being a superhero isn't so bad at all. Way to go, Dad. You see me out there, Daddy? I like your smile. <laughs> I'm Juliet. This has been Juliet's Comedy Corner. Thanks for watching and keep on laughing. Oh my gosh, Juliet! Oh, you are the cutest. I can't wait to have your own Netflix special one day. Maybe when you're eight and a half. <laughs> the youngest comedian to ever have a Netflix special. Let's manifest that. Don't worry, during hiatus, I'm gonna have my people call your people and um, I think we have a spot for you in our writer's room here at SDS. You can find more of Juliet's entertaining videos along with her siblings' on-camera adventures in and around Hollywood on her family's fun YouTube channel. We'll throw the link down in the description below. Be sure to check it out. Okay, it's time to pack our bags and grab our passports because we're heading to Italy. Yes, social distancing has another international submission. All the way from Mineo, Sicily, we have another quarantine ballad about being separated from your loved ones during this time. And don't worry if you don't speak Italiano, we'll provide the translation for you. So here is Mario with an original song called A View from Sicily. Grazie a cantare a distanza sociale. Thank you. Amore mio, cantiamo sti parole, senti di gente canta che cuori, sano d'arancia viva e tricudina, bandera di stamata roccia lingua, amore mio, succhio se di putiare, speranza non si mi può cantare. song. Bellissimo. Is that how you say it? Bellissimo? It's so great to have songs on our show that are inspiring hope and happiness and we love that it reached you all the way across the globe. Oh, Mario, I can't wait till it's safe to travel again and I could come, you know, stay at your house and could have endless wine parties. <laughs> I'm not overstepping by inviting myself, right? But in all seriousness, we here at SDS 
Hope that anyone who's separated from their family or loved ones gets to reunite with them very soon. Also, just so you know, some of this week's submissions came to us through our emails. So if you have a comment, question, or suggestion, drop us a line at comments at socialdistancing.com. We normally like to close out the show with a toe-tapping song that gets you up on your feet. And let me tell you, this next submission is definitely a showstopper. But it won't actually stop the show. It'll, it'll come back and there will be like a little outro and, and then you'll see my bloopers and it'll be hilarious. So the stars of the hit theatrical production Avenue Q are back with another song from their Avenue Quarantine video series. This is a song that reminds us that nothing about this situation is easy, but it's only for now. Congratulations, social distancing for an amazing first season, yeah! <laughs> Thanks so much for a fun show that each week teaches us to appreciate the little things in life that seem so important now. Toilet paper and Zoom chat, oh, am I right? <laughs> Likes the thought of being cooped up inside. Take a breath, look around, take it in stride for now. For now. Nothing lasts, life goes on, full, full of surprises. We'll be faced with problems of all shapes and sizes. We're going to have to make a few. You might feel aimless, you might feel annoyed You might miss doing all the things you enjoyed Try to accept the things we cannot avoid For now For now For now For now But only for now Only for now Only for now Only for now social distancing, and thank you everybody for watching. <laughs> thank you Gwen Hollander and Victor Urid for that awesome video, and all the cast of Avenue Quarantine. Avenue Quarantine. I probably could just say Avenue Quarantine, right? <laughs> we love featuring your videos here on social distancing, so thank you again. And just like that, we're done with another episode of Social Distancing. And thank you for being here for our season one finale. Now this was gonna be the part where we were gonna close out the show with a huge fireworks display, but let's face it, they've been going off every night in my neighborhood, so 
Is it really necessary? But apparently this is a thing all over the country right now. We'll skip the fireworks this episode, just like we skipped Easter. And we'll probably be skipping Halloween. Just a reminder that if any of our submissions that you saw here today have inspired you to create a fun quarantine-themed video of your own, then head over to our official website at socialdistancing.com and click the submission tab for all the details. With any luck, you might see your creation on a future episode when we return with more quarantine-themed fun in Season 2 this August. Don't forget, you can catch up on all our past episodes of Social Distancing on our official YouTube channel and also on our official website at www.socialdistancing.com. Just a heads up, fellow quarantiners, our co-producer and co-creator Adam Gaynor has launched his own super fun show to keep you busy during our hiatus. It's called Creationville, and it's about how creative people make their living in Hollywood and the music biz. Think The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon meets, well, learning stuff. Head on over to youtube.com slash creationville and check it out. And if you're really bored, you can head on over to my YouTube page at youtube.com slash njlander. I have a couple of quarantine themed videos over there. You can also head on over to my Instagram page at natalie underscore lander, where you can find other content there as well. Remember, we need your help to keep growing and spreading the word about our channel. So please share our social distancing YouTube channel with your friends, family, colleagues, frontliners, neighbors, and whoever you think could use a good laugh and a little levity during these challenging times. And that'll do it for this week's episode of Social Distancing and happy season one finale. Thank you so much for spreading the word about our show and not spreading the virus. Have a great 4th of July and enjoy a happy and safe summer. See you guys soon. Bye! of social distancing, Natalie Lander. All right, here we go. <laughs> My ears are too tall, they don't fit in frame. Uh, let's try that again. Here is the quarantine quarette. No. Oh, that was my back. Oopsie. Just keep it up to, d just keep, d keep doing you, you do you. Okay, it's great, thank you. I like doing my magic hands for the magic things, you know, it's like. While we do not condone weapons here on social distancing, I could really use a Samsung. <laughs> Here's my video on DIY bird nest. So up next, we've got, <laughs> but street cleaning. <coughs> I'm not sick. The garbage is picked up on Monday. I can't work like this. Oh cool, I just realized I have my Kleenex box here the whole time. It has a little sloth on it though. Bye. <laughs> That'll teach me to get creative. Okay.